Hey, what's up, my friends? Welcome to another video of Behind the Scene. Today's topic is about trumpet mutes. In order to keep the videos short, limiting one topic at a time, there will be two episodes about trumpets. Okay, without further ado, let's dive in. These are your mutes. Uh, what is that? Okay, so you can, this, and so you can either play with the stem or without the stem. So in all of the pieces we play today, it's without the stem. It just changes the timbre a little bit. I see. Is that is that okay for me to hear the difference? Sure, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't mind. By the way, what's your name? Abba. Abba. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. I'm I'm Liz. You. I, yeah. He he called he called my name. Yeah. Okay. So. I'll do it without the stem first. Yeah. Example. Yeah. Right place. Right. So just yeah. like, not too yeah, crazy of a color much. change, just a bit muted. Yeah. Um, and then with the stem, you can do this. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the wah wah thing. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So that's what the stem does. I see. Uh, how long does it for you to actually stuck it in? So like like if it's a uh, if you don't have much time but you have to change it. Yeah, so how do you Okay, so. you have to take that off. Yeah. And and okay. Yeah, so that's why So a few seconds at least. Yeah, a few seconds. Okay. Uh and what what are the difference uh these this two is a straight mute. So this one is used mostly in like orchestral playing. Okay. And I would say this is more for jazz. Oh, this is Oh, okay. I I I hear this one is more mellow. Yeah. And this one is a lot more bright. So Ah, oh, I see. So this is straight mute. So it's awesome. pretty close to the trumpet sound, just a lot Yeah, I, I get it, I get it. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you so yeah, much, that's helpful. Like, is there any other little gears? Oh, that's another. This can be used in orchestral music or yeah. jazz. What, what is that called? So it's a cup mute. Okay. So the sound changes a bit when you... So you can do this, and it's just a slight change. So that's like pretty. Mellow. I see. Okay. And then put it all in. So you blow in the same way with all these mutes. I see. Okay. So when you pull this part up, it's yeah. a lot quieter. Um, how sorry? How do you pull? It? Yeah. So. Just this metal part here, and then the black part, they are detached, so... So the previous note that you played is we... Yeah, so these come apart. Ah, okay. So you would never play it, like, separately. Yeah. But you can play with some open, and when it's open, it's just, it's really quiet. I see. this, but they both kind of sound like a foghorn. Like, if you can think of, like, a boat or something, that's kind of the sound you would get. Like that. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, can I can I hear them yeah. again? I yeah. This is, uh, with nothing out. With right. Electric. Okay. So that's just the way it is. I see. It does sound pretty jazzy to me. Yeah. Yeah. Also used in jazz as well. Okay. So this is. Yeah. Okay. Say, when you pull it out. Yeah. So a lot it's yeah, it's, it's I can though? barely hear it. Yeah. I see. Do you do you actually adjust it while you're playing? I, no, not when you're playing. Okay, so that's not a possible thing. No. What is uh huh? Sorry, go yeah, ahead. Normally um, yeah. you would just choose if you want it out or not before you play. Right. And then that's how you do it for the whole time. I see. But I think most of the time you keep it all in. So you play like this. Right. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Of course, yeah. So now we've had a close look of the most commonly used trumpet mutes. We'll talk more about playing and writing in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.